Alrighty folks, uh, it's that time, time that I've been dreading, uh, but there's no getting around it, well there is, I could put a BMS in here and pretty much kill off the pack within two weeks, but um, yeah, no, it's bottom balancing time. Um, so I uh, got started yesterday, this is day two. And uh, working through the main uh, pack here now, and uh, I've got to do the cells that are in here. Uh, the cells that will be in the top hat pack that will be going in on top of this main pack, and then the uh, ten cells that are in the front battery module. So in order uh, to achieve that, uh, I've got two pieces of uh, equipment working here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and run through that. Uh, the first will be familiar to most people. It's the uh, Revolatrix Powerlab 6. Um, I got a Powerlab 6 because, uh, let me just turn this off for a second. No real point getting a Power Lab 8 because you can't really use the uh, the series uh, monitoring or series balancing functions on it when you're dealing with large cap capacity cells. Uh, so I built this up onto a piece of uh, a piece of plywood and just kind of tried to ruggedize some of the connections, uh, both for the. Uh, 12 volt supply for the um, two cables going to the cell and for the two smaller uh, monitoring uh, tails. So at present, I uh, just go in there. We're on the uh, first cell on the middle row with the Power Lab 6. There's a total of four connections in there the two power connections and the two monitoring uh, wires. Now, what we then have is as a 12 volt power source we've got an old uh, 12 volt starting battery and connected up to that uh, I've got a inver inverter and one of our uh, JLD uh, voltmeters and connected to the inverter just got a little uh, table lamp with a 100 watt uh, filament uh, lamp in it. And the purpose of this is that uh, one of the biggest problems with the, well there's a lot of problems with the power lab in this application, but one of those anyway is the fact that um, you have to set upper and lower limits for the battery voltage. So for example this being just a 12 volt lead acid. Um, I've got it set at a lower cutoff at 10.5 volts and a uh, fully charged, I think, at 14.5. So when you're doing a lot of bottom balancing, you're basically taking out energy from the uh, li lithium cell and you're pretty much dumping it back into that lead acid battery. So the problem is. When that battery charges up, uh, it's going to trip a voltage limit in the power lab and cause the damn thing to shut down. So what I did previously was I was just using that uh, 12 volt to 30 volt inverter uh, just manually. Like I'd leave a multimeter on the thing and when I saw that the voltage on the battery was coming up near 14 volts, I just turned the thing on. And come back and so on and I was fine if I was only doing a few cells but uh, I've got 50 cells to balance here so what I decided to do uh, was to rig up one of the JLD uh, programmable voltmeters and this little guy here is a remote switch connection so you can probably guess what I've done uh, I just connected the relay uh, output from the JLD to that remote switch input on the inverter so when the battery hits 14 volts that turns the inverter on and when it gets back down to 11.5 it uh, turns the inverter off 
Now that's the power lab system. Um, and you may be thinking, uh, why do I not like the power lab? Well, if I want to monitor capacity and do all kinds of things like that, then the power lab is very useful. But for general purpose bottom balancing, uh, it's got a lot of problems. So uh, when I started this process off yesterday, um, like I've got it set up to run at maximum uh, discharge current, is about 40 amps. Let me just pan this over a little bit. Ooh, bloody hell. Not exactly Cecil B here, are we? So, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I had it set up uh, to run at pretty much 40 amps. Um, discharge current, so get it all set up. Uh, I've got a profile in there that basically discharges uh, constant current, constant voltage discharge down to two and a half volts and it cuts off at the 1.5 amps. Um, and that's the only profile that I have in this because uh, you start trying to choose profiles and stuff, it just turns into a nightmare. Um, it's very, uh, from a programmability point of view, even the PC software. Even getting the PC software installed on a laptop is a bit of a tour de force. Um, and I just didn't find the uh, interface very intuitive at first. But anyway, all that said, uh, I did uh, a while ago now get it all programmed up. And I've used it for some bottom balancing. Um, but here's what actually happens. Um, when you're balancing cells in a car, um, you're, 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 ju you're, ju you're just going to have long leads here. I mean, I've got a long lead here. This is a 3x6 square cable. I'm just using two of the cores for the high current. And it's, you know, there's just a little 0.75 there just for monitoring. And I've got long leads trailing out going into the car. They're probably what? Ah, maybe three, three and a half meters long. And uh, that's kind of pretty standard uh, for this application. Now the problem is that this thing uh, seems to have a myriad of fault codes um, that will just stop it dead. Uh, what I really hate about it is that you can actually set this up on a cell would be sucking away 40 amps, looking fine. You can stand around for a few minutes, looks fine. Walk away, come back in a half hour or an hour, and you'll find some error code 82 or uh, what was the one that started throwing up today? Um, system reset or some other nonsense. And it just basically stopped. And you're trying to get 50 cells balanced over a long weekend. Um, every minute counts. Uh, so most of those errors, um, from what I can figure out, uh, are just caused by the fact that we've got long leads going into the car. Uh, we've got crocodile clips going on there. I mean, we've got uh, we got connections going on, and this thing just whatever reason just didn't seem to like it. Now, I struggled yesterday trying to get it to discharge a cell and I just could not get it to actually uh, discharge. So I was, took a bit of a flyer on it and reduced the discharge current to 35 amps and uh, it ran fine. Now it's tripped out three times today on me even at 35 amps and on one particular cell I had to actually reduce the current to 30 amps uh, just to get the damn thing to actually uh, run a full uh, bottom balance cycle for me. So in that way uh, it's not a, a piece of kit that I could recommend if you're just looking to do pure bottom balancing on large capacity cells. Indeed I was, I was actually uh, 
discussing this with some of the guys on EVTV Live last weekend, and uh, it looks like that I'm not the 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 um, only person that has experienced that particular problem. Now, as I say, I was uh, mentioning this last week on EVTV, and um, actually. Uh, Jack mentioned that he had constructed a balancing device um, using a, another one of the JLD voltmeters. Uh, I was w watching the show there during the week and uh, I think they were doing the back con and uh, he did actually show it on camera so I decided yesterday when I was having all of those problems with the uh, JLD, or not with the JLD, with the uh, power lab, that I would uh, endeavour to copy it. So, I ordered um, a, probably can't see it too well here, but this big kind of a golden shape here. That's a 0.10 200 watt. Uh, Tyco power resistor and um, it's bolted onto a piece of scrap aluminium plate uh, that I had from a previous project. Uh, down here uh, we have a, a 30 amp double pole relay uh, that I've basically commoned up the two contacts on it. I'll try and show a better view of that in a minute. And just on the four corners of some 8mm threaded rod, and up top here a bit of, uh, I think it's either a 5 or 6mm uh, polycarbonate sheet that I had. Got some cables going on here, little 12 uh, volt power brick, that's actually an old laptop charger. And uh, the brains of the operation in the middle is one of our JLD voltmeters so if I just get a bit of a tilt on that you might actually be able to see the display so currently that's, ho that's uh, hooked up to a cell and as we can see the cell is at 2.92 volts uh, that red LED in the corner means that the relay is, is energized and we're uh, pulling current from the cell through the resistor and that will drop out the relay at 2.50 volts and bring it back in at 2.77 volts. And uh, that does pretty much guarantee <coughs> that you'll be uh, settling down after a few bounce cycles at about 2.75. So this is pretty much a junk box uh, project. Um, the 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 only thing that I actually had to buy in speci specifically for it was that big uh, power resistor. Um, but I probably don't even have a hundred euros in that uh, in the in that uh, div device there, and uh, it runs absolutely brilliantly. There's no issues with it. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't throw me up any stupid uh, stupid error codes it doesn't stop it do, it, it just do, it just works um, it doesn't do any of the nonsense that I seem to be getting from the power lab so from a bottom balancing uh, perspective this is kind of what I would recommend uh, I kind of made that up in an afternoon and uh, we've got uh, got two six square cables and a smaller again 0.75 sensing uh, wires and um, <coughs> see if I can get a view of this here they just go uh, straight in um, just got some crock clips I uh, just bring the uh, power cable to one side of the crock clip and the sensor uh, cable to the other side we just clip them on to the braids and uh, turn on the mains power and uh, this just 
this just works um, it's a pity I don't have a couple of them uh, but I've only got one of those resistors and one of those relays so um, yeah that's kind of where we're at with the bottom balancing um, this is the you know it's kind of look it it looks like a a junk box project but uh, it beats the, the power lab hands down just from a reliability and a operational pers perspective so uh, I'll probably be back with some more updates on this uh, when we get the full pack balanced down and we start charging it up as a series strain so right that's enough of me boring everyone so uh, thanks for wa watching and uh, stay tuned